Hello, everyone. Today we are going to go over Yusako training Friday the thirteenth. So, um, after reading this problem statement, it, it basically says to calculate the number of, um, the number of like occurrences for each day from Monday to Sunday, that occurs on each thirteenth of each month, from January one. 1990 to December 30, 31st, 1990, plus n-1. So basically, um, well, like, this is uh, basically another simulation problem, just like greedy gift givers, where we're supposed to just do what the problem tells us. So um, in this case, we know that, um, we know that, January 1st, 1990 was a, I mean, 1900 was a Monday. And basically, February has 28 days, except on leap, on leap years when it has 29. And we have some, some more information about leap years. So basically, if it's divisible by 100, then it's only at a leap year if it's also divisible by 400. Um, so then, except that, then it would be this divisible by 4 if it is a leap year. Alright, so, um, basically, for the, like, for the solution to this problem, we could just, like, loop th through the years from 1900 to 1900 plus n minus 1 and then for each of those we can loop through all 12 months and we could just calculate the we could keep like a, an array to keep the counter of each day that it occurs on all right so um let's just get to coding so again we include our header file i mean whoops i didn't share my screen so there we include our header File we use std. Alright, so let's use if stream. And for this problem, it would be Friday. So Friday dot in of stream. Alright, so we're given n, so we can read n. So then. For each of our years, so you could go into y as an year. So y would be equal to 1900. So 1900. Y would be less than or equal to 1900 plus, plus, um, it would be plus n minus 1. So plus n minus 1. So every time you would increment your year. Alright, so. So basically, as I said before, you, you would need a counter for the for the days, so you can go, you could call it like count. Okay, so. So originally, your count would have um everything is zero before your you started. So it'd be um. It'll be you could just fill it. So count, you would fill it plus seven since there are seven days in a week. Um and fill it with zero. So then um, we basically would want to keep track of the current day. So for example, for, for um, 1900, we would start off with a Monday because um, it starts on there. So let's just say um, Monday is zero, Tuesday is one, Wednesday is two, and dot, dot, dot. So then you can go like current day. So originally current would be equal to zero as in a Monday. Okay, so now, basically, we need to loop through for each month. So you can for int m as in as in a month. So it would be equal to um, let's just say from uh, January to December. So basically, there would be twelve months. So m would be less than equal to twelve, and then each time you increment it. All right, so um. So let's just say we, we also need an array for the number of days in each month. And we can also just count our leap years afterwards. So 
go like int month. Uh, it will be size 12. It will be so in January there are 31 days. In February there's a base for 20, uh, 28 days. So then you would add one to them if leap year. In March there are 31 days. In April, um, there's 30 days. May 31, June 30. Um, July 31, August 31, September 30, uh, 31 for October, 30 for just for November, and 31 for December. All right, so basically, basically now for each month, we need to check, um, so basically we need a counter for, uh, the number of days we got from our last month. So then for m equals zero, it would be January. So the only cases here is if it's um if it's uh if it's February, which is m equals zero. I mean m equals one. So we can have a separate case if it's equal to one. So now um since this is February, we can just determine if it's a leap year. So if it's a leap year, then we also add like one instead of the normal the normal like month day so we have to check like if leap year leap year of y which is the year if it's one then you would then um your current would be equal to your current because we're doing it for the next month so it would add the month of m plus one because the plus one is from from because it's a leap year. So then you would also modify seven because basically repeats. So if it's not this, you, you would just take out the plus one because it's just normal year. And if it's also not this, you would just, um you would do the same thing as if it's not a leap year. So now we need a function to calculate if it is or is not a leap year. So this should be a Boolean function. So our input it, or parameter is the year. So why it's year. Okay, so now we're given a few cases. So if it's divisible by 100, if it's divisible by 100, then it's it's a leap year only if and only if it's also divisible by 400. So if y is, um, if a mod 100, if it's equal to zero, then we return if it's also divisible by 400. If it's not that, then it has to be divisible by four. So now we're done with that. So now all we need to do is count the number of, like basically like increment our, our count. Oh yeah, and this should be seven because it's an array. All right. So over here, so for the um for the first, uh for the first month it would be January first, nineteen hundred, and it was a Monday. So then if it's 13th, then you would basically add 12 days. So then over here, you would also add 12 days to the current day. So you would go count of current plus 12 mod seven because it repeats from Monday to Sunday. It would, it would just increment. So now what do we need to output? Oh, so we need to output from um, from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, um, so basically, from uh Saturday, the index for Saturday is five. So we can go from for int i equals five. I must be less than seven. I plus plus. Then we print our count, and we do this because um, and we do this because uh. Right now, our uh, our our um count it's it's from Monday to Sunday, but here they want us from Saturday to 
Friday. So now this is basically Saturday to Sunday. I mean Sunday and from and then we want it from Monday. And then we would just print it. Then this would be Monday to Friday. So now let's create our um, input file and we can test this out. Friday. All right, so let's run this. It should um, take a few moments to compile. Yeah, so three, two, two. Okay, so there seems like there is an error. And this is because we I incremented the count only in, if and only if it's a uh, if it's February. So we should actually put it out here, and we should also write it to the file instead of putting it in a standard output stream. Let's run it again. All right, so it should be in here. Thirty six, thirty three, thirty four, thirty three, thirty five. 35 and 34. So that seems correct. And when you also when you submit it on uh, Usako training, I think there may be like an error if you print like an extra space or an extra new line. So just watch out and also just put um, your login ID with along with your language and problem ID for this. Yeah, so um, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you.